the sea turtle is among one of many endangered species. With South Florida's beaches being a popular nesting place for sea turtles, the city of Boca Raton and Florida Atlantic University are doing some great work at the Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. Check it out. Gumbo Limbo monitors more than 600 sea turtle nests a year within a five mile span of beaches. They rescue injured sea turtles and release more than 6,000 stranded hatchlings each nesting season. In addition, they're also researching some native endangered seahorses, which you see here. These are part of their tank raised seahorse program. Outside, there are two sea tanks, which you see here, and two other saltwater aquariums nearby. Each of these tanks and aquariums represent a different South Florida marine habitat featuring both natural and man-made elements. To give you an up-close view at some of the species that they were showcasing during our visit, here's a bonnethead shark, which is the smallest of the hammerhead species, a juvenile barracuda, and a juvenile southern stingray. On January 1st, 2010, Gumbo Limbo, a longtime sea turtle rescue facility, opened their sea turtle rehabilitation facility. This facility allows the conservation team to treat and rehabilitate sea turtles. The sea turtle that you see here has a disease called fibropapilloma, which causes benign tumors to grow both internally and externally. This disease is debilitating and can be life-threatening to a sea turtle. This sea turtle had a tumor removed from her eye here, and unfortunately had one of her back flippers removed as a result of a debilitating benign tumor here. While the cause of this disease is still being researched, the disease tends to be more prevalent in areas that have poor water turnover, in particular where human waste enters the waterways. It's been suggested that the stress from a polluted environment may be why this is occurring and it's currently being researched. What we do know is that the turtles can overcome this disease with the help of surgical procedures. If the tumors do not return after a certain period of time, the turtle can be released back into the ocean. It's important to support facilities like this that educate the public about these issues and rehabilitate these endangered species. For more information on Gumbo Limbo, click the link in the description. I'm Efish and thanks for watching Aquaparel TV.